people find that during summer holidays or long holidays away from a usual routine can be particularly difficult or maybe you recognize a lot of changes in the person whether it's your own child or someone that you support during that time so there can be many reasons for this but i think the most important thing for us to consider is the fact that they're not in their usual routine. So if it's a child or someone in education, then you have this regular routine of waking up at a certain time, getting dressed, going to school, being there all day, coming home, or maybe going to a club, a hobby, um, and then having dinner, resting, and then going to bed. And so there's this routine and that is pretty regular. So, you know, Monday to Friday and then weekends, there's probably a routine there as well. So when the summer holidays come or any other holidays, it can make sense then that you don't recognize the same characteristics in someone with sensory processing difficulties. And that can be because they find it really difficult when that routine isn't there. And one of the reasons for the comfort of a routine is the fact that for that person with sensory processing difficulties they're feeling in control of the way they regulate themselves so the way that they're regulating their sensory input but as soon as there's not a routine or things that change it can be really difficult for someone to be able to manage that so having strategies in place to support someone to know what they're going to be doing that day if they're going on holiday where are they going is it going to be hot is it going to be cold what activities are you going to be doing all of this information is going to be really really helpful for someone to help to prepare themselves if you're recognizing characteristics that you find quite challenging to support so maybe someone refusing to leave their bedroom or being out in the community and you're finding it really difficult to be able to do your shopping or to do the things that you really have to do. It's important that you go back to thinking about what are their sensory processing difficulties? Are they sensitive to sound? Are they sensitive to visual information? Do they find big groups of people really difficult, whether that's because of the amount of people and the feeling of that? Is it the tactile anxiety of someone brushing past them? Is it the social side of things? So it's really, really common if you recognise changes in characteristics during holidays. It doesn't mean that anything has changed in regards to someone's sensory processing difficulties. It's just because there is that obvious, that big change in routine and the way that someone then is having to support themselves, having to regulate themselves has to change as well. So you'll notice these characteristics change because they need to regulate differently.